In this movie, we're going to look at the binaural panning features in Logic Pro and explore how we might use these in sound design for music, for visuals, and so forth. And this is the kind of movie where you'd probably want to be watching this wearing headphones so you can hear the binaural audio. So what I have here is a couple of uh, examples. I'm going to start with this, which is just a mono sound design element. Uh, right now on its own, it sounds like this. So as we've seen already, we can go to the track output and change for a stereo track from a balance control to a, a stereo pan control. For both uh, stereo and mono tracks, the other option is to set it up for a binaural panner. And if you double click it, you get the floating pan window here. And so what we have here is now a convolution with an HRTF, a head related transfer function. Uh, so it's going to place the sound uh, around the listening position, that's your head, um, in, in a very three-dimensional way, um, uh, as if the sound was right there in the space with you. And again, this is, you know, optimized for headphones. Uh, and to that end, you want to check your track and your binaural panner and just turn off, for the time being, diffuse field compensation so that you really do hear the binaural panning. This here is called a puck, and this is the location of the sound around your head. That's your head in the middle here. And so the idea is you can move the sound around your head. And the space around you can be changed in terms of its size. We'll leave it here at its default for the moment. Um, but uh, you can expand or contract the space around your head in which this sound exists. You can also move in either a, a, just a horizontal manner, a planar, or spherical, in which case it would be as if the sound was going up and over your head. So this would be the sound elevated, and here it's elevated on its way down to the horizontal plane. Or, again, with planar, it's really just moving on a horizontal plane. And that's what this little diagram shows you. And you can, if you want to, go ahead and tilt the actual horizontal plane and tilt the direction so it would move from slightly lower to slightly elevated in a linear manner, like so. We're going to go ahead and just set those back to uh, their defaults. So let's give this a listen. I'll just go ahead and move this around, and you know we'll be able to hear this. And again, it, because it's a complex sound, it really calls attention to itself. This one's also pretty complex, not quite as much going on. This is another good sound to try, and I'm going to do the same thing with this one here. Again, it's a mono sound design element, uh, and in this case, it's just a little, uh, like a flint, uh, uh, you know, somebody's trying to start a fire or something. So here, I double click, this is the binaural panner once again. And now we can try it in spherical mode here, so it would also have a, a bit of elevation to it. So if you closed your eyes, you might imagine this was a bit to your right, but also elevated in position. Now if I then increase the size of the space around me, it feels like it might move back a little bit. And as I keep moving it back, and that's the idea. And I can go back to planar, and if I want to, I can try tilting the actual movement here a bit. Tilt it a bit more. So we have... Let's 
Let's go back, try the jangling sound again. This is another good one to use to just listen to this stuff. Here it is, and I'm going to go to spherical here. I'm going to actually increase the size of the space around me as well. And notice that in spherical, I don't really hear a change in volume as it goes past me because it's up over my head, where in planar, it in theory just went, you know, right through my head, if you will, or certainly right in front of me. So this is the idea, is that we get the sense of the sound being around us uh, in a, a three-dimensional way, and it's based on this HRTF, which is a, a model of, uh, you know, how a human head hears and localizes sound. And so this is the binaural panner, and these are the uh, settings and parameters that you'd want to think about as you work with it.